For years, Google and OpenAI have fought for the crown of artificial intelligence. Now, leaked reports claim GPT-6 has crushed Gemini Ultra on every critical benchmark, blowing away previous records and igniting rumors of AGI-level reasoning. If these numbers hold, everything about the future of AI dominance just changed. But why did Google, once the undisputed leader, fall behind at the very moment that counts? The answer starts with how the rivalry really began. The rivalry between OpenAI and Google did not start with a single product launch or a viral demo. It began in 2018, when OpenAI's early Transformer models caught the attention of Google's DeepMind and Brain teams. What followed was a race that would redraw the map of artificial intelligence. Each breakthrough raised the stakes. OpenAI's GPT-3, then the launch of ChatGPT, turned language models from research toys into global phenomena, forcing Google to rethink its entire AI strategy. By 2023, GPT-4 set new records for reasoning and text generation, dominating headlines and developer forums alike. The pressure on Google was immediate. In response, Google merged deep mind and brain into a single powerhouse, betting everything on a new family of models called Gemini. The Gemini Ultra release in early 2025 was billed as the answer to OpenAI's momentum. It outperformed GPT-4 on benchmarks such as MMLU and Big Bench Hard, and it flexed its muscle in multimodal tasks thanks to custom TPU hardware. For a brief moment, it looked like Google had reclaimed the crown, but the gap never stayed closed for long. Every leap forward triggered a counter move and whispers about the next big thing, rumors of GPT-6, began to circulate in research circles, hinting at capabilities no one had seen before. In this high-stakes arms race, the smallest technical edge could decide the fate of billion-dollar product lines and the direction of the entire industry. The world was waiting for the next earthquake. And then the leaks began. By 2025, the AI industry was running out of patience with incremental gains. Gemini Ultra, for all its technical muscle, had yet to deliver the frictionless intelligence that enterprise clients were promised. Reports circulated of slow onboarding for large organizations, compliance reviews, internal risk debates, and a patchwork of safety filters that sometimes blocked more queries than they answered. Google's sprawling bureaucracy, once its strength, now meant every update crawled through layers of committees before reaching the real world. Even as Gemini racked up wins on academic benchmarks, developers grumbled about the time it took to access new features or deploy updates at scale. Meanwhile, OpenAI's partnership with Microsoft put pressure on every rival. With Azure's hyperscale infrastructure, OpenAI could train and deploy new models at a pace few could match. GPT-5 had already shown what was possible when compute was not a bottleneck, with massive context windows faster response times, and near-instant scaling for millions of users. Greg Brockman, OpenAI's president, described the previous generation as powerful but brittle. It was capable of dazzling results, yet prone to sudden failures when pushed to the edge. That fragility became a rallying cry for something more robust. The world wanted more than clever demos. It wanted reliability, depth, and the kind of reasoning that could handle real-world complexity without breaking down. As Gemini's rollout lost momentum and GPT-5's limitations became clear, the appetite for a true leap forward turned into impatience. The stage was set for a model that could silence critics and redefine what AI could actually do. Rumors of GPT-6 were not just hype. They were a response to a market hungry for something that finally worked as advertised. Numbers don't lie, but these numbers hit like a shockwave. The leaked GPT-6 benchmark scores didn't just edge past Gemini Ultra. They blew past every expectation. MMLU, the gold standard for multitask language understanding, shows GPT-6 posting a rumored 93 to 95%. That's not just incremental. That's a leap over Gemini Ultra's 90%, a margin that turns a tight race into a route. On Big Bench Hard, the test designed to stump even the smartest models, GPT-6 allegedly lands three to five points higher, 
Human eval, the coding benchmark that separates real-world utility from party tricks, puts GPT-6 at 82 to 85 percent, well ahead of Gemini's 74. GSM 8K, the math word problem gauntlet, is where things get almost absurd, 97 percent according to the leak. That's not just a new high score, it is a message to every developer and enterprise leader. There is a new standard and Gemini is not it. The numbers are not the only headline. The context window, long the domain of incremental upgrades, now explodes to 1 million tokens. That is the equivalent of hundreds of pages in a single prompt, summarized, analyzed, and cross-referenced without the model losing its place. Gemini's 300,000 token window suddenly looks cramped by comparison. And then there is the claim that GPT-6 can interpret live video, not just images, tracking objects, analyzing scenes, even offering frame-by-frame -frame predictions in real time. Gemini's multimodal edge, once its claim to fame, now looks like yesterday's news. Each of these numbers flashes across the leaked scoreboard like a siren. The message is clear, the performance gap is not narrow, it is a canyon. For Google, this is not just a setback, it is a warning shot. For the rest of the industry, it is the moment the bar was raised again. Beneath the leaked numbers, the real story is architectural ambition. GPT-6 is not just a bigger model, it is a different animal entirely, if the rumors hold. At the core sits an adaptive mixture of experts system, a leap from the static clusters that powered previous generations. Instead of assigning the same set of neural pathways to every question, GPT-6 supposedly routes tasks through specialized subnetworks tuned on the fly. That means a legal brief and a quantum physics paper could trigger different expert teams, each trained for depth rather than generality. The result is less wasted computation, sharper answers, and a model that feels less like a parrot and more like a panel of world-class specialists. But the headlines do not stop there. Whispered details point to neural symbolic hybrid layers, cognitive modules that blend the pattern matching power of deep learning with the logic and structure of symbolic reasoning. For years, neural nets have struggled with tasks that require step-by-step -step deduction or mathematical proofs. By fusing these approaches, GPT-6 is said to handle abstract logic and multi-step calculations with a kind of precision that has eluded its predecessors. This is not just about passing benchmarks. It is about solving problems that stumped every model before it. Then comes memory. Not just a bigger context window, but persistent, agentic memory. Retaining key details across sessions, even recalling user preferences and previous conversations. If the leaks are real, this gives GPT-6 the edge in multi-day planning, code base refactoring, and business simulations. Where Gemini Ultra's context window hits a ceiling, GPT-6 claims to keep going, tracking threads and decisions over hundreds of pages or hours of video. For developers and enterprise leaders, these are not just technical feats, they are the foundation for tools that actually work in the messiness of the real world. Developers did not wait for official confirmation. Within days of the leak, private tester chats were filled with one phrase, scary good. Code repositories began to show a quiet exodus as pilot teams at Fortune 500 firms started testing GPT-6 previews, some pausing their Gemini Ultra integrations mid-project. One enterprise architect described the gap as the difference between a calculator and a collaborator. API logs captured a spike in trial migrations, nothing on the record, but enough to rattle confidence. Inside Google, the response was anything but calm. Executives called emergency meetings, pulling senior engineers off other projects to form a rapid response task force. The mission was to analyze the leaks, patch perceived weaknesses, and reassure clients that Gemini was still in the game. For every public statement downplaying the news, there were 10 quiet contract reviews happening in the background. The market was not just watching the scoreboard, it was already moving. Regulators are scrambling to keep up. Congressional hearings on AI safety have been fast-tracked, with lawmakers now demanding answers about the risks of frontier models before they reach consumers. NVIDIA's grip over the world's AI hardware supply chain has never been tighter. As the only real provider of the chips needed for training these giants, 
NVIDIA has become the silent power broker, deciding which lab gets to build the next breakthrough. Rumors swirl about GPT-7 already in early research. Google's Astra 2.0 is aiming for a comeback, but nothing is certain. The arms race is no longer just about company profits or clever demos. It's about who controls the tools that shape economies, influence elections, and define the boundaries of knowledge itself. Claims of smarter, context-aware moderation in GPT-6 raise new questions about safety and oversight. The world stands on the edge, waiting for the next escalation and wondering who, if anyone, is really in control. In a world where hype outpaces proof, every leaked claim shapes billions in investment and public trust. Until real evidence emerges, the true balance of AI power remains uncertain, and the stakes for transparency have never been higher. Drop your thoughts below. The conversation is just beginning.